way the castle was captured is generally by a siege, and you have a couple different ways to capture a castle. The first, and, and maybe the most common, is by starvation. So you're, the idea there is you basically surround the castle, and you wait till they run out of food or water. It took a long time because the castle was new. The lords knew this was going to happen, so they would keep a lot of supplies inside and make sure they had a well so they could last a long time. And you have your friends on the outside trying to break the siege and bring food in. The second way is to make a breach and assault, assault the fort. There's various ways you could do that. You could dig a mine underneath the wall, collapse that in, or if you're in, in the later years, blow it up with gunpowder, try to make a big hole. You can charge through and fight your way inside. You could have siege machines that throw rocks. You could have cannon that shoot holes in the wall. There are also you know, all kinds of interesting machines that they would have. Ballista, which is like a large crossbow that fires spears or stones at the men on, on top of the wall. The best, uh, before you get to cannons with the trebuchet, those could fire a stone of about 100 to 200 pounds. Some of them could fire even multiple times a minute. So those were the best, uh, best long distance stone throwing machines. You'd also have battering rams, huge logs with an iron tip, smash those against the wall. Another way of trying to capture a castle is by just assault, trying to capture a wall, the walls without waiting to make a breach. You would try to gain a foothold and fight your way, expand your way into the rest of the castle. The normal way to do this is you just get ladders, run up, try to put them against the wall and run up. You can imagine that it takes a lot of bravery to be the first person to climb up that wall. You have a bunch of people on top who are trying to throw you off, push your ladder over. It's very dangerous, but you, there'd be a lot of glory to the person who could get to the top and capture the castle. Or you could build a siege tower. You could make a big movable wooden tower, often covered with mud to or skins and mud to make them fire resistant. Roll that up to the wall and lower a drawbridge right onto the wall and you can have a bunch of men flood into, into the fort. These at certain times could be really huge. One in 1266 in one siege carried 200 archers and 11 siege engines on the actual tower itself. So these could be really big big machines to make this assault. And uh, the last way that castles often fell was by treachery. Someone inside the castle decides that he can get a lot of rewards if he betrays uh, his side and lets the enemy in some small uh, gate. And uh, that was how many castles fell. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share it with your friends. You can also visit www.discerninghistory.com for more videos and other resources.